Okay, my thing today is I'm going to talk about honor. And, and the reason I picked it is because, especially for me, um, honor is a big thing in our lives that is very special. That we always need to, especially our teachers, our friends, family, anybody. Right, can anybody tell anybody name any of them? You don't have to tell all of them, just say any of them. Uh, the Ten Commandments? Just say any of them. I don't care if you know it. Just, what is it? Just name you one should of them. obey your parents. Mm. Anybody else? Frank? Yes. Yeah. Second or third? Yep. Anybody else? Come on, Drew. Bailey? Yes. Oh. No, that's not one. Anybody else? Frank? Be jealous. Be jealous. Oh, envious, yeah. covet, yeah. Um, shall not put it in the false house before me. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Anyone else? Be jealous. It's okay. Alright. Okay. I got one more. Sam, shall I tell lies? Okay. Alright. I had to put these, like, in a way, but I don't know if, like, they're all right. Okay. I know, um, I'm going to tell them, y'all. Uh, one is believe in no other God. Two, don't believe in any false idols. Three, do not use God's name in any other, any bad way. Always have a day for God, like out of the week, like we have Sunday. Um, honor your parents, mother. Do not murder. Do not cheat. Do not steal. Do not teach false prophets. And do not steal from your neighbors. I guess that's how it's supposed to be. Okay. 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 The reason I picked this message is because, especially for me, this was a life lesson. All right. A few months ago, I was really mean. I was hollering at my parents, telling them to be quiet, shut up, you know. I was just being really, really mean. And, I don't know, it just, I, it didn't make me go on the wrong path. It just changed me in a way. Like, I wasn't where I should be with God. And a big thing is I'm going to say thanks to Kenny because Kenny helped me a lot. Because he was like, um, if I would get mad at him and tell him to hush, you know, he's my big brother, but he argue all the time. But if I got mad at him and tell him to hush, he would be like, don't tell me to hush, I'm not your parents. Or don't tell me to hush, I'm not your mom. And it really, after a while, I kept doing it. And I, after a while, I thought about it really, really hard. And I ended up... It, I thought about it, prayed about it, just really slept on it. Um, and uh, it got me thinking that, why am I doing that? Why am I telling my mom to shut up and hollering at my dad and smarting off to him and stuff like that? And then one day I was going through my Bible, and it, I, I just, it just showed in the back of it the Ten Commandments. So I read them, and one of them said, which is Exodus 20, 12, and it says, Honor your father and mother so that you may live alone, a lot of live long in the land of the Lord that He has given you. And so it really touched my heart when I, when Kenny did that because I know that God was making that where Kenny was helping me in grow spiritually and heal by honoring my parents. And now I love my parents. Me and my parents were like really close now, like, well, me and my mom, we can talk about anything, my dad, he's growing spiritually, to me, he is, a little bit, um, and I just really, it really hurt, it really hurt when I realized that how I wasn't honoring my parents, um, reasons why you should is just because God wants you to. It's a big th life lesson, too, and it's in the Ten Commandments, and you always want to, you know, stick. And here's a few things that your parents should give you. They should give you punishment when you do something wrong. That's a big thing. I mean, I know I get in trouble a lot just because my grades slip, my, I get mouthy sometimes, you know. That's just me. Um, I don't know, it's just, I, I, I get, do get punishment, and that's a good thing that we do, because... If we didn't, then where would we be? We'd be crazy. We'd be, like, running down the road. Um, they should give you comfort and love. They should give you lots of hugs. And they just tell you how much they love you all the time. Um, protection. They should always give you food and water. They should always just make sure you're safe and sound. You're always tucked in the bed. I know I got tucked in the bed. Um, I guess the way I think of it is wisdom, in a way. They should always tell you something that you don't know. For me, everybody knows I'm like, I'm like, 
don't know a lot. And um, so they should always, you know, just tell you, like, if you don't know what and means, they should tell you what and means. <laughs> They should give you, they, they should have patience with you. If you're not learning something, like for me, softball is a big thing. I would never really, like, at first, when I first started softball, my dad would always get frustrated because I threw the ball too hard or, well, not too hard. I would throw it, lob it. I wouldn't hit right and stuff like that. That's a big thing. They should always have patience with you. They should, you know, take their time with you and things like that. Um, You and your parents should always have peace. When you argue, argue, argument are something that you should have every once in a while when you just, it's just hard. Like, peace to me would be like, peace is, not peace, not like that. Um, peace, uh, calmness, um, relax, just stuff like that. Love, you should always love one another. And uh, love for me, I know Miss Dawn, you love your kids. You have that love for them different than you would love your husband. It's Love is like, you love your kids. Like, when I get older, I can't wait to have kids. I want, I'm going to love them. I'm going to give all those things that I said you should give. Um, and, like, yeah, that's love. <laughs> Communication. You should always, um, you should always have, you should always listen. And as my coach said, you should always listen two times more than you talk. So, communication is a big thing when you're doing something wrong, and you should listen to your parents. It's a big thing, honestly. Take it from me because I'm 13 and y'all are all younger than me. Communication is a big thing. Forgiveness. If all right, let's say your parents are in your personal space. Always, always forgive them after you get mad. Always, because in the in the long run, you're gonna regret not doing it. And it's honestly always forgiveness. And they should always have forgive you for being late for curfew when you get older. Uh, trust me, I'm never going to have curfew. I know I have one. Um, you just, forgiveness is a big, big, big step. Trust. Trust goes along with forgiveness, in a way, to me. Trust is like, it's just like the curfew thing. Trust is like, oh, Lord. Trust, um, you should always trust your friends. That's a big thing. Trust your parents, friends. And you trust your friends just like you trust your parents. You should always trust them with information that you have. Always trust them with anything. Like, if you're upset about something, you should go tell them and you trust them not to go and tell anybody else. That's a big thing for trust. And that's what I said for that. And like I said before, God loves that you honor your parents. It's a big thing. Like, there's still... God honors you for honoring your parents. That's the way I think of it. And, um, I don't know, it's just for me. I just, like I said, the, the when I talked about Kenny doing that, after I realized just how mean I was, how mad and angry I was getting, how frustrated I was, how bad I was getting in school. Like, my grades were slipping a lot like I was doing this. And it kind of don't sound right, but that's what happened, honestly, it did. And just always, always honor your parents. And I promise that when you honor your parents, good things happen. It's like, I don't know, it's, just, it's really good that you honor your parents. And you never, ever not want to. And that's well, all, everything. Anybody got a question? Anybody got any questions for Lacey? Seriously, not messing with her? Go ahead, Don. Um, when you say you should always trust your friends, should you... Make sure that they're your friends first. Yes. Yes. <laughs> it's, it's important to have godly friends. Yeah. You, you have to surround yourself with friends that are the same kind of faith as you, that believe like you do. I'm not saying that doesn't mean you can't be friendly with people that are not saved. But the Bible does say not to be unevenly yoked. And you don't want to have people in your life that's going to surround you. And what Lacey was talking about, about when she read the commandment about honoring your father and your mother, it is the only commandment that there is a promise attached to. It says, honoring your father or your mother, and what will happen, Braden? You live on the earth. Long well, life on this earth. Longer. So what does that mean, Sam and Frank? Should you honor your parents? Yes. Yes. I call it yes. out like that. <laughs> I'm calling everybody. Braden, should you honor your parents? Yes. Paige, should you honor your mom and dad?